Okay. Oh, I'll give you another. What are we doing? Couple minutes. Super NES. We're gonna do the the snares. Mm -hmm. Nothing to say about this. The snares. Relax. So I was taking over the show. Just say Super Mario Brothers and you'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers. Mario. Mario. Super Mario. Star Luigi. Donkey Kong? Yeah, Do Donkey Kong Country. Can I say, say that? Donkey? Yeah, say yeah. Donkey Kong. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Donkey Kong. You can say Donkey Kong. You can say Kirby. You can say Super Mario. Okay. Yeah. You gotta say those those those, uh, those are catch titles. There. Yeah. You can, say, you can say screw Nintendo for again not making enough. Oh, oh my no. god. Oh no, not true. No true. <sighs> not true. Hey, can I get my thing get back or what? Can what? you go to the store and buy one today? No, there was today. a lot more than than uh it was than, two and a half times yeah. more. Well, yeah. Enough. There was. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. Unless unless you went there at nine o'clock in the morning, you weren't you weren't getting one. To people be fair, that, the people, switch is having the same problem and that's let me the tell mainstream you something. one. People that showed up at nine got one. When the store, okay, they didn't have they didn't have to line up. Yeah. But what do you want when people people want it? What do you want? What do you, what I know. Do you there's want? so you want to have a thousand. But why did they, a thousand in why stock? Why do they make such a limited release? It's like, not like that's Nintendo. Oh my god. That's why that that's why that's why the guys who showed up in that from, block have it on Kijiji from, now. From, the, from Nintendo's bucks. point of view, they'd rather be under the demand than to have stock left over. Yeah. yeah. Stock left over is expensive. Money. You know, so that's given, money that they're that not gonna make. Sold out now by. Uh, what I'm Everything surmised. sold out today. Yeah, but they making more. Like, yes. More yeah, they okay. they dole it out a little bit at a time. But I mean, they, they this I is a, this is like a it's an eighty dollar item. They're not making. It's not no, like the it, it's not like the mainstream like the Switch, which is four or five hundred bucks. You know, they're not making a whole lot of money off these things, right? So you don't want to be caught with thousands of units uns unsold in inventory. They're probably making plenty. They're probably <laughs> making more on the more Super money. NES than they made on the original NES because I'll oh, let fine. you in on I'm not going to say they're losing money. I watched a video today by mm -hmm. a YouTuber who did an unboxing. Wow. And he told me what the guts of the thing are. So you know, all you got to do is sit back and go, <laughs> well, they are really stacking up all of their work and they are maximizing what they can get out of this. I'll bet you they're making more off the Super NES than you think. I'm not even disagreeing with that. They're probably building it for five bucks. But oh, yeah. you don't make money off units that don't get sold. Welcome to the Crew Roundtable Podcast. Brought to you by CrewRoundtable.com. A roundtable discussion of all the hot news affecting the greater Toronto area. Featuring Big V, Marco, Gino, and JR. And now your host of the Crew Roundtable, the champ who runs the camp, Sal Champ. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the Crew Roundtable. I'm your host, Sal, and as always, let's go around the, the table here. Naked V, what are you uh, taking off today? TTC, take the car. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I was hoping, Sorry, B I was... Big V works on a delayed uh, on a tape delay. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping for another song. Marco, don't encourage him. They'll be at the end. Okay. He's gonna okay. he's gonna sing the train closings chime. I can hardly wait. Go ahead, Marco. Uh, good evening, Gino. Welcome. <clears throat> Uh, Chant, thank you very much for having us here. Uh, this is uh, something that I know is near and dear to a lot of people sitting around this table. Um, we've got some experts sitting around the table here tonight. Uh, it's going to be a fun discussion. It is. It is. Jay Ra, welcome. Uh, thank you, Sal. Thank you, Sal. This is uh, another nice reminiscing episode. So oh, like, yeah. You know, if you enjoyed our our class, uh, our previous episode about the nest, so this is going to be... This is gonna be a really good episode. I can't wait to dig in. Who wants to? Uh, who wants to kick this off? Well, Champ, you what? are one of the experts that are going to be giving us all the information here tonight. So I would like to take over the hosting for this show <laughs> because I want to hear switch a lot seats, from you. Switch seats. Switch seats. There we, are... we, we don't need to do that. Player two has entered the stadium. I know. I know. We, we have got, got player play. two. We got player yes. two. Did 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 all right, you got your controller. Let's yes. go. Yes. Uh, so. Um, Today, we're going to be talking about the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic that just came out. It was released today, uh, and people were allowed the privilege of buying one from Nintendo uh, for $80. Uh, well, no, was it? Uh, 100 bucks. Uh, sorry, $100 Canadian. Sorry. Yes. Uh, yes. 
um, which seems to be a fantastic deal. I believe you get 21 games mm -hmm. on the system. Is it the same 30. price? Is it the same price as the NES? Okay. I may, I may Why don't we a... just turn around and look at the box? Oh, you got the box behind oh, you yeah, there. But, uh, but there are some... on it. Yes, no, but there the are... amount of games. Now, how many games? Count them up. Count them up. Count them up. Count them up. It's not there. Maybe it is 21. There's uh, so there's whatever the number, whether it's 21 or 30. There are excellent games on there. They mm. have the ones you would expect, like Super Street, like Street Fighter 2 and things like that. The very They've first got, Mario Kart. First Mario Kart, a unreleased game, Star Fox 2. Oh yes. Um, which has yeah, 21. Uh, so 21, t 21 mm -hmm. games on it. Great. Oops. Um, so before we talk about the SNES, I want to talk to the people sitting around the table here today who got a NES Classic. And go back to this previous discussion we had on it. So, how many people around this table have an NES Classic? Maybe you should start with who attempted to get one and who ended up getting one. Well, no, I, because well, okay, but a lot of people attempt to get it. Yeah. Well, I think I attempted and then failed miserably, and then I looked for an expert in the field of acquiring these uh, items. The expert, and, and, yes. And, and 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 the chap, my friend. The champ and his naked his, V is his, touching me right his, now. His, his <laughs> clicking naked. button, his clicking button, his clicking button, yes. Uh, being superior, far far superior to the normal uh, individual's clicking <laughs> he button. Clicked my button. <laughs> He's using two fingers. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? You never double clicked your own mouse before? What the hell? <laughs> Anyways, he was able to acquire acquire not just one but two for me. Three altogether. Wow. I said oh, for wow. me. I said oh, for yeah. me. Mm -hmm. Anyways. You Sorry, could, uh, so you got two? Did you end up selling one? No, I, I give it as a way as a gift. You give it away as a gift. Okay. Yes. So the one that you have for your own personal consumption. Yes. Your private stash. I wouldn't um, exactly call it a stash. It's so it's for an the, occupying room. Okay, so for the for the two people who have it. All right. Did you play it? No, not yet. Oh, oh my god. Oh my goodness. What are you, yes. just, a, are you just an a, a e hoarder? He no. Is. I just need to find time. Oh my god! I don't okay. go home yes, excited like you guys and sit down in front of a TV and just start playing video games, dude. You, mm. I don't understand why you don't. What, what are you doing? Plowing okay. a back forty in your life? I'd be like, like if I get home by seven thirty. <laughs> so this is have to eat this dinner is and make lunch Gino, tomorrow. Take control. He's taking care of the four kids. Let's go. And the size of a big do. lunch takes hours okay. to prepare. Yeah, That's right, true. Man. That lunch city. You got to prepare it anyway. That is true. To the champ. Have you played with it? Yeah, right. of course. Okay, you've played with it. So where is it now? Who, who hasn't so right played now, with it? Uh. It's, it's in the corner. <laughs> hey, don't make me start taking away points. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the corner there um, in my basement too. Okay, so it's 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 hooked up, ready to go if you wanted to play. Yeah, uh, I did have to disconnect it to clean up some cabling. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's right in the corner there. All I got to do is just plug it in. Okay, so you actually took it out of the box. Yes. So 100 points to you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, did you get two controllers for it? Because that was one of the items that we were discussing last time where it only came with one, correct? Mm. I did not get two controllers. No one else wants to play with Even though there's two <laughs> controllers on the box? I love what you did. So you have to play with yourself? Yeah. Is that what yeah. you're saying? I'm, I play, I'm a one player. There's a reason they call me J-Rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so you, you, use it, you use it primarily yourself? Yeah. Okay, yeah. and it's ready to go. Big V, you said you haven't opened yours? Well, I, I opened it and looked, took it out, looked at it. Did you plug it in to see if it works? No. Smelled it. No, I no. smelled it. Just smelled this. Okay, <laughs> so what did you buy it for? And I'm not, I'm not asking that as a joke. I'm asking seriously because there was there was like th there was a no, I haven't there was a fever to purchase it. I have intent on playing and you it haven't within used in the it. future. Okay, I just gotta okay. Go spare up some time. My shifts don't allow me right now. Okay. Uh, so of the people who bought one here, we've got one person who hasn't used it yet. One person who has. Well, two people haven't used it yet. Two? Who's two? The one I the, that I give to as a gift. I was gifted one. Oh, no, you were gifted. No. Oh, you were the you were the gift. I, Actually, no, 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 he was not the my gifted wife one. Was gifted oh, one. your wife Sorry. was gifted his one. His wife wanted it. Oh. Oh. So no. three people. We've got was... three systems around the table. Oh. Okay, hold on. Jay Rob, just for the record. The just for the record. Day. Yeah, I know. Uh, just for the record. I'm feeling oppressed. His wife <laughs> asked me. <laughs> I'm being oppressed. I'm being oppressed. Mark's wife asked me to obtain one for her. Okay, mm. which I used again the clicking uh, prowess of, of the champ here. You double click the okay, <laughs> um, and thinking that she was gonna give it to him for like his birthday or something, and then I found out later on she wanted it for herself. 
<laughs> has your wife at least played the, the, the so game the questions so? to you and she's has on maternity she leave used too, it so I figured no. she'd be playing it by she now she has not so she just bought it and, and wanted to use it and just want, kept it in a box on the shelf I'm not even sure if she knows where it is oh my Oh, oh my. that's my awful. It's it's. What do you mean? It's with the the kids gifts that I brought you uh, you last time. You know there are people out there starving for an house. NES. What's that? There are people out there in this world starving for an <laughs> NES. I know. <laughs> let's move. There's kids starving in okay. Japan. Yeah. Okay, so let's move our discussion then into the SNES. Go. Um, they went on sale today for all of about forty five minutes, <laughs> and yeah. classic Nintendo did not make enough. Uh, I know J. Raw was saying that they are doing that even with their current gen system. What is it? The Switch. The Switch, yes. Which so has they are really been well reviewed. I... Well reviewed, yes. But again, they are underproducing it. Um, there are all already... make so many they, 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 uh, to maintain a certain level of com- com- quality with this complexity. You can only make so many. Nintendo feels that they're overproducing with the I, Switch. Because I've they seen it in action. Promised. It's awesome. It, it is. It is. Um, the SNES, as of you know, 10 a.m. this morning, was for sale on Kijiji for anywhere from two to $250. Ridiculous. So there were people who went to the store, lined up, got one of the Only one. three dozen systems that were sent to that particular store, <clears throat> came back home, took a photo, or ripped one off the internet, and threw it up on Kijiji, and now they're waiting to make money. So to those people, I hope they burn in a special layer of hell. Hey, you know what? If someone wants to pay an outrageous amount of money, I don't see what the problem is. This isn't drugs. What is yes, the- only that level of hell is just slightly above the level of hell for someone who would pay $250 for it. <laughs> okay, so fair enough. So they will be right underneath them. What um, is the NES going for on the Kijiji? Probably nothing now. No, yeah, it's dying. They're, it's coming back. Yeah, you still can't get it, and there's rumors of a release. <clears throat> it's not rumors. It's official. No, I mean... It's coming if, back. If I wanted to sell the one that's in my house that my <laughs> wife doesn't find. know where it is... You would, you, would make a, you would make a pretty penny on it. So you'd make a penny off my back. Mm. Mm. I'm a grateful son of a bitch. You are Champ, ungrateful. why don't you take us through your, un- your unboxing video? Where do you want me to begin? Uh, start with start. begin at the beginning. Yes. So start start Logical with right um, at the end. start with how you obtained a system today. Okay, he great. Went, he didn't go to work. Is, I took the so I scheduled <laughs> the day yes, off. I know that's why I'm asking. <laughs> I am <laughs> running this camp here. I'm <laughs> leading him where I want him to go. This is me texting Sal this morning. So, uh, are you supposed to be at work? <laughs> <laughs> and I sent them a picture of the line. Possibly, so, possibly. I maybe. And I knew that now. was at Vaughn too. So I, uh, so I booked the day off two months ago, when I knew <laughs> the release date. <laughs> 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 uh, anyways, so I woke up this morning, got out of bed seven o'clock. I left the house at seven thirty. I got to Toys R Us at eight, and I found the line up there. And I thought to myself, you know what? Thank God I didn't stop for coffee, but I don't think I'm gonna get one today. It's like the Beatles. Yeah. Yeah. Out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> Trudging over to Toys R Us. I did. <laughs> did you drag a comb across? I was head? pretty excited, so <laughs> so I didn't trudge over. But uh, um, I uh, yeah, I got in the lineup. I kind of quickly counted. I thought I was about 20, 25, 25th in line. I was twenty seven, and I was like, you know what? I don't know. Big when Big V went to line up for the first NES. No, uh, I didn't line up the, at first time. Oh, the sorry. Vaughn location. You walked and in. The Vaughn location opened at 9 instead of 10. Right. Of, uh, they opened at like, 9 on Fridays. You should check that. No, no, no. There's, because it was at Vaughn Mills, they opened up an hour earlier than some other Toys R Us okay. locations. Strategic So error. I'm thinking that they yeah. opened at 10. I was kosher. When, in fact, that the plan, they sold at 20 like, yeah. like 50 minutes ago. Yeah, so so they told him that there was only they only got 20. In stock, so I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna be twenty something. I'm not gonna get one today. But I'm like, what the hell? I'll just wait. You never know. However, the right? flyer did say fifty minimum fifty. Oh really? I didn't location. even read that. I didn't even know no, that. Those, those flyers are printed a week and a week or two so, in advance. So I didn't the know. The took already half. Yeah, <laughs> guaranteed. <basically. laughs> guaranteed. Actually, they, you know what? There was a, there were a couple employees, but they were in the lineup. So I mean, they it depends on it's how only the fair. works. Yeah, yeah, it was only fair. They were in the lineup. Anyways, uh. More people started to come, and then a couple uh, a couple guys lined up behind me, and they worked at Pure Later, and Pure Later does the deliveries, and they're like, they're like, we delivered 
from from Nintendo the uh, the NESs here, and he goes, they're gonna have they're gonna have enough. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm like, really? All right. Anyways, nine o'clock shows up. We start going into the store. They gave us a numbered ticket. I was 27, um, and people continued to line up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? Um, but anyways, we we got inside, and there was a uh, a store buggy, and it was just full of uh, Super Nintendos. Just walk up, they give you one, you paid for it, and that was it. it ran out of there. But you only you were allowed oh, one, <laughs> right? And uh, I went home, and uh, you know that's it. So that's that it. was that was the harrowing tale of how you obtained one. That's how I obtained. I was home by uh, seven thirty. Oh my! God. Then you came. Ho- then you came home. Yes. And you made a wonderful unboxing video. Well, thank you, thank you. Uh, I checked it out. Fantastic. Compared <laughs> to some of the other unboxing videos I've seen on the the YouTube, um, it's simply a cut above. Oh, and I'm not just saying that because you're the champ and you run this camp. <laughs> no. I, mean, I mean that. Um, some of the information that you gave on the system, mm. very useful to know. Um, you said that the hardware is basically the same. Yes. So there are some people who hacked the NES Classic. Yes. Already. Yes. By allowing them to put more games on it, which was one of my big gripes. Yes. And you mentioned in your video that that hack might be coming down the pipe as we speak. Well, the hardware inside is the same. Um, mm-hmm. Well, why would it be different? The operating, <coughs> I mean, everything looks the same. I'm gonna, ass- I don't want to assume, but the operating system could be the same. And you know, a little tip from Jr. said, hey, if the hardware and software are the same, they could, they could work. I don't see why. Not. I don't see why it would be that different, other than the the emulator would sit on a different chip in the same spot. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. The thing is, though, there's, there's still just video games. It's like, why would it be different at all? No, it's, it's just well, because, because it runs on a different machine. It's yeah. not the, the games are not identical. It's not about that. Yeah. But the emulator software is different. But that's a that's a software thing. Mm-hmm. But I would imagine the internal layout of the board is probably exactly Everything's the same. The, same. the, the right. hardware is exact from the the chip, the RAM, the amount of RAM, the video card, the video chip that they use. Everything is exactly the same. And I did a quick Google search, and there was just rumors that this hack chi that was used to load up games on the Nintendo Classic uh, it could be used for the Super Nintendo Classic. What, what kills me, though, is that uh, the system is powered by USB. It yeah. doesn't have, like, one of those round circle power power connectors yeah, like, like uh, laptops. It uses a micro USB. I don't understand why you're... I, I guess maybe that's how they put the games on there themselves, mm-hmm. perhaps, mm-hmm. after the fact. It does two uh, things. Because I... It's as simple as not connecting the two data channels. End of story. Right. That's all you need. They, they, it's clearly been... Nintendo must use this themselves to mm-hmm. do something. Mm-hmm. To uh, maybe de- debug, beta test, something or other. But it would be so easy for them to, to keep this from happening. Maybe they don't care. Well, yeah. consider, considering they, 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 they have to pay licenses to anything, any, any of those games that are not theirs. Well... I think like not every game on there is a Nintendo. It's not. Product. There's like there's there's Street Capcom, Fighter. Street Fighter. Uh, yeah, there's Street Fighter. Castlevania's on there. Castlevania, uh, uh, Final Konami. Fantasy. So they do have a few outside of Nintendo uh, licenses. Mm-hmm. So. And the Super Nintendo had, uh, if you remember, our, our, our lament of the, the high quality of shit games that the NES had. <laughs> the Super Nintendo was uh, had a much higher percentage of good games. Mm. Like it was. People, people look. The NES has, I think, is, is what really put Nintendo on the map. This SNES mm. it really put them on. Like the SNES, the NES was popular, but the SNES was really what locked it into your nostalgia. Oh my god! There Street was a Fighter lot. Two, uh, Street Fighter Two alone, I think, is what made Super Nintendo the system. Oh, yeah. I, I would agree with you. I would that agree was with you. So much fun. Yeah. yeah. Which the, is, which is in the twenty-one games. It is. Right? Yeah. I'm uh, surprised. Now, some of the gripes. That at least I had with the NES, mm-hmm. the short controller cables. Mm. Still I, there. I understand nope. it's been fixed. No, five feet. Five feet. Five feet. That's not bad. Not bad. It's better, it's better. Not great. Well, not the better. not not the original eight or whatever it was before. But <laughs> eight inches. <laughs> but they listened, right? So mm-hmm. they are they're doing something. But some, I also heard the grape that uh, that's if why you it was twenty dollars more maybe that's because why it was the cables were longer. If you want to quit a game, you've got to get up and go 
hit the reset button yeah, on the box. I don't think there's no buttons that'll reset. Yeah, but and I think and I'm pretty sure the original NES cables again SNES cables were longer than five feet. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You know. Yeah, they were. The, yeah. The, and now you've got to have this game. You know, it's going to be in the middle of the floor. Because you're gonna play it from your couch, so the basically the you need, and I heard the HDMI cable that comes with it is very short, mm -hmm. so yeah, you need to buy a H new HDMI. Yeah, but it's but cheap. It's, it's the point. It's but that's the point. You must spend a hundred dollars. That's true. Uh, are, yeah, it's cheap. Therefore, it's cheap for Nintendo to have at least put the right Te stuff. In. Technically, it's even cheaper for Nintendo to do it. Exactly. It's just wire. You know that kind of wire. As we said before in the last episode, it's not expensive. You want to put a five foot cable versus a 10 foot cable. It's not even a penny to put the right size of cable to put 10 foot, 10 foot cables as opposed to five foot controller cables. It's fractions of a cent. We're not talking gout. We're not talking dollars uh, indifference. Mm -hmm. So why didn't they just do the right thing? Why? Because they, they, I bet you do it next the week. There'll be Nintendo controllers extensions. that with ten foot. Oh, yeah. there'll be extensions for another extension. twenty yeah, bucks. The there'll yeah. be Nintendo controllers with fifteen foot cables on sale because they want they'll, to gouge you for yeah, the wireless ones. Wireless and then the wireless ones, ones. Yeah. less like last time. It's like, oh my god, will you just do it right? Yeah. Holy crap! Uh, one thing that they did do right, I understand this new system comes with two controllers. Yes. It does. Nice. Yeah, very nice. There's maybe where the twenty bucks goes. Yes, that's I okay, fair enough. I, I'll give them that. And I, Lighter cables and another controller. And I have to give them uh, kudos on that. Uh, Champ, did you play with the SNES? Yes. Okay. Did you try plugging the SNES controller into your NES Classic? Apparently, they go backwards. <gasps> uh, I would assume that they would work. Uh, so did I you try I, it? I didn't try it. But I wouldn't have to buy a second controller for Ex the NES. <laughs> well, you exactly, and you can use the longer cables mm. because you've got two. Well, yeah. they use the same plugs. Which, yeah. if if everyone if anyone's familiar with the Wii, it's the plug it's the plug that an, the nunchuck uses to connect to the Wii controller. Mm. That is the same controller that the NES uses, NES Classic uses, that the SNES Classic uses. Mm. Uh, they're all they're all the same. So I I I, I, I think yeah, I think Gino may be correct here. I think uh, so. you're just clearly correct that those two, they'll all work together. What was your impression of having to uh, jump through a hoop to play Star Fox 2? What was the hoop? <laughs> oh, the <laughs> What's this hoop? So in order to play Star Fox 2, you have to complete the first level of Star Fox. So it's locked. I know that's it's not, ridiculous. I know it's not, it's, much not, of a hoop, it's not a much of a hoop, but that's ridiculous. You think so? So that what, what, so what happens? Does it appear in the in game, so, so, or does it get added to your menu? So it's on the menu, but it's gift wrapped. Oh, that's so it's wrapped. Cheeky. There's a bow on it. Yeah, that's kind of cheeky. And yeah, so and if you click on it, it says, "Please complete the first level of Star Fox." Ooh, I wonder and how then, I wonder how long that one is going to take before that gets pulled off and put did, on. Did you guys play Star Fox? I played. Yeah. Star Fox. I haven't. I have yes. it. It's good. Well, yeah. it's, it's it's the first level. How hard can it be? No, but the game. Itself. The game is a, gets a little difficult to control. I find because it's a lot of polygons. They really a lot of these a lot of Nintendo's games are geared towards showing what the hardware can do. They don't simply want to build a good game. Uh, they want to use what... They're basically showcasing the, 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 the capabilities of the system. And there's a lot of polygons in that game, so it's doing a lot of processing. The super, super it's, uh, effects chip. It, yeah, the super effects chip. It, it's, it actually really slowed a lot of stuff down. Uh, they're also trying to show off their Mode 7. Which is which does a lot of uh, graphic rotation. Oh yeah, like screen rotation. Oh, oh, the yes, Castlevania yes. games did a lot. The Castlevania games did a lot of Mode Seven ga graphics, but uh, it was uh, it, it, it became it was it was challenging. The, la the later levels were very challenging. It's oh, for wow. it was a per it was a first person space shooter is basically what it mm. is. For <clears throat> this particular system, did it meet and beat? Your expectations. It met my expectations. I knew what I was what I was getting, you know, a game emulating machine. So you got exactly what you paid for. Is it worth two hundred fifty bucks? May am I am 100 I a hundred bucks? No, two fifty. Am I am I wrong in thinking that Kijiji 
doesn't really know the value of this system? Is it really? Would worth you have paid two hundred fifty oh, bucks? Is what you say? Is it worth two hundred fifty dollars if no, you were I buying? Wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I I wouldn't. No, be no, because that's just someone uh, taking an advantage and is greedy, and I hope you know no one falls into that pit. Right. It goes from a nice to have to yeah. a ridiculous yeah. Uh, level. Yeah, it's a nice exact. It's a nice to have. Because if you really want, if you absolutely had to play these games again, like there, there, there's uh, there's easier ways to do that. Yeah, at le- at, le- at less than eighty dollars. <laughs> easier ways? There's nothing easier than buying something and plugging it into your TV. Mm, uh that it, it's easy. Well, if if it was if it was a regular full stock product, but you know, Champ got lucky. But Joe Schmo, that was you know twenty spots behind him, probably didn't get it, didn't get anything. And on top of that, you know he had to take a day off of work. He had to make sure you know, he, had to, he stood in line taking a chance that they were going to have enough stock. I would you have know. been very sad. It's not it's <laughs> not like in the old days where they made they just pumped these things out like crazy because the the quality and the complexity was a lot less, right? So it took a lot take a lot it takes a lot of work. A lot of people take a couple of kicks that they can before they get one. Uh, you know, champ, the champ was fortunate enough to be able to get it, but not everybody was. Whereas, you know, there, there, there are, if you own the games in the past, it's very easy to set up your own emulation station, uh, and not have to even leave your own house to do it. Mm-hmm. So is there a Nintendo 64 classic coming? I think so. <laughs> I, uh, I think so. Like, I is, know. is Nintendo because just now, milking these two the guys, nostalgia cow? These Probably. two guys that were standing behind me that worked for Purolator... They started talking about they saw some specs or something. They saw something about a uh, N64 controller for, um, and the, it may be for a classic N64. That may be next. I'm, I'm, I, I would doubt that. I'm not going to disagree with, you, with, with what this guy said, but mm. having owned basically every Nintendo system up until the Wii, up into and including the Wii, not the Wii. 64 was the weakest. It was the weakest. It probably had the fewest games. I, we, everyone knows the debacle that was Superman 64. It was a terrible, terrible game. <laughs> was Ob- Turok on the 64? Yes. Turok was on there too. Okay. Yeah, Turok, Turok came on the 64. It came uh, from the 64. But, I mean, it had some good games. Let's not forget, though, these games are starting to become exponentially larger, right? Mm-hmm. These first two systems, they were re- relatively piddling in size. You know, uh, and therefore you can put on, you know, a re- relatively small couple, two, even a two gig chip, which costs almost nothing nowadays. Can, we'll put go on that, go on a Super SNES, and you can hold hundreds of games. But as these games start going forward, they, 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 uh, they, uh, they, this, uh, this, the the sixty four. I'm, I'm not quite sure how big those games are, but they start getting a little bigger. And then the the, the successor to that was the. Uh, GameCube, where you're talking hundreds of megs a game. Is that why we've got 21 on the SNES and we only had and we had 30 something or whatever on the Nintendo? Well, that um, that might same might, hardware. It might also be licensing fees. Yeah, you know, we're talking like licensing, old games. Right? Licensing, right. licensing yeah. fees. Yeah. Like these, 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 the game, the names, the names that are on this thing are premium names. You know, Mega Man X, uh, it, 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 you know, Castlevania, just to name the. Just to name the ones that Nintendo doesn't own, Kirby. I don't think that's the thing. There's, that's a Nintendo. That's yeah. Nintendo. Oh, that's not okay. Kirby's Secret Kirby, of Mana, no. Punch Out, Final I mean, Fantasy. The Street Fighter Two alone was probably from Capcom. Probably cost a fortune. So, you know, these are bigger games, and they're probably more expensive games. And Capcom knew it, uh, and, and Konami, and and uh, and everybody knew it. So I, I would say it's more of a cost thing, really. The games are are significantly larger. Than the NES ones, there's bigger color palettes and more better sound, and you know they're not huge by modern standards, but they're bigger than Compared what the previous to, yeah. ones were. Oh yeah. So, you know, who knows? I don't know what the capacity of this of the storage medium is, but it's 512 megs. See that? There you go. Which yeah, well, you're not. Gonna, I wonder what you're the not la- gonna fit I like to know what the games. last one. I don't know what the last one. Even at 512, 512. megs, you could fit just you could fit almost twice as many. It's it's 512, uh, and I think games. they managed to cram almost the entire 700 game catalog on a regular Nintendo, from the videos I've saw I've seen. Wow. Yeah, I think because they've maybe they've now put, loaded them on as zip files. Ah. Uh, a little more smaller. Cause all yeah, because you can play the the emulator <clears throat> when the when the game is in the zip file too. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't have to take it out of the zip file. I did not know that. Yeah, That's you, interesting. You could play it right out of the. You can play. So, it which games did you play? Uh, Mario Kart. Yeah. I think all I played was well, Mario Kart. That's a two-player sure. game. If you if you, if you put if you yeah. put if you put Mario Kart on a system and sell one hardware, you're looking to get that card that, that controller shoved up your ass yeah. sideways. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think I managed to only play Mario Kart. There were uh, some there there were some reviews that they changed how the saving works on the games. Apparently, oh. you can just save it any point at any point you want now like it's like the original game you you mean the suspend points yeah yeah any, they said it's different from the NES class no it's the same it's the same it's the same the same every any place anywhere you stop you can you just drop it in a, a suspend what there's four suspend uh, folders per game and you can do four oh, well, different saves good. yeah so your yes. your review overall positive no, it's good. It's it's a nice little system. It's it's something nice to have. It's not a necessity, but um, I got it because I wanted it. Plain and you know that's all. And you would recommend someone else to go buy it as well. If if that was a system that you played with and you know you you know it meant something, you know if you played it, go get it. So it's strictly a nostalgia play. It wouldn't be you wouldn't buy it and give it to ten year old kid. My daughter would like it. She would like to play Kirby. You, you think it, yeah. so? You think there's games she, on there? She for knows her too? Kirby. She's played Kirby, mm -hmm. and she likes playing Kirby. So I can, you know. So this is something that it's not just for yourself. No, I could see, you know, because she, my daughter, she has played. She's played Kirby on the on the Nintendo. So mm -hmm. you know, she likes it. She'll sit down here and you know, I'll let her just let her go at. It. <laughs> and does it come with? The manuals somewhere in the hardware. So the manuals the are, no, are not in the hardware; they're on the website. So that was something that they did not change. That was another gripe that we had. Uh, right. You yeah. you said you said that there weren't manuals, but they're online. You can just access them from computer, your phone, or whatever. They're PDFs. That's kind of. Shame. I know, I know, but you know, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Pack twenty one manuals in the. You know what? Given the given some of the. Given some of the reservations we had about the NES about the NES Classic, I gotta give I gotta give Nintendo credit on this one. Um, it seems like they listened to some of the biggest gripes. Yes, yeah. being cables, yes. being one controller. Well, how long were the old the NES cables Classic? I'm telling you, maybe a foot. Really, the NES yeah, Classic had one foot cables. I can go get it if you want. No, no, I think they were like three. Wow. Which seem, is they which seem is really short. Yeah, which is short. They, like either way, they were they were short. too short. Yeah. But it's it's it seems like they listen to people at least on the hardware side, yeah. Um, and they did a good job of giving people what they wanted. Um, I don't understand why they don't just open up their an online store and let people buy games a la carte. Now, see, I thought about that. I, that's I what think I don't get. They're gonna need like infrastructure for that, okay? To now, all these consoles need so, need extra software to go online. Now you got to set up part of a store mm -hmm. to get these games. I th and I think they see these things as what they are. They're just a fad. Yeah. You know, you got right now, how many, b b I don't think Big V uh, and Marco are, are anomalies. I, I'm sure most... Uh, anomalies, large... anomalies in that they they have the system but have never played it. Correct. I don't think they're an anomaly. I, I think, I think maybe, maybe the average user has played it a little bit more. I don't think anybody is in any position that they want to buy. They're going to buy more games. I think they're going to play the, the ones that are on there i'm sure some people want to buy more games i'm not going to disagree with you on that one but i think nintendo probably did their cost benefit analysis and it's like you know what i think uh the vast majority of people are just going to buy it for the games that are on there they're going to play it they're going to get tired and for us to invest millions of dollars in in build giving it network connectivity and uh, building an online store. I don't think, and then on top of that, they have to pay licensing fees to the games that they don't own. In the end, it was more trouble than it was worth. But then there's the guys that are a little bit more savvy that'll take that console and they'll try to hack it and they'll try to cram a little bit. Well, those guys are sales it, right? that you're not gonna make anyway. Right, right, yeah. yeah. They're, they're, only getting, they're only putting the games on there because they're not, not because they, they can't get it from Nintendo. 
You know, those guys are just we're, we're just putting those games on because they can, mm-hmm. and they were never gonna buy those games. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They may already have owned them, but they were never gonna buy them, rebuy them online. Mm. Is what I'm saying. Right, right. Those I wouldn't count those as lost sales, but I think the majority of people are like just buying it to play the games and get into it, and then life's gonna creep back up, and they're not gonna play it in a month. Mm-hmm. I love to know how many NES classics are still being used now. Oh, I know. Maybe, maybe sitting around. Exactly. I bet you. I bet you those are going are going on eBay for on, on Kijiji for like thirty bucks. You know, used uh, NES Classic. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah. If they're all going on, uh, you're not going to get full price for those. I'm no. not buying. I'm not going to pay pay for NES Classic. But I wouldn't price. get rid of mine anyway. No, you. I'm not saying you are. But if I, someone's I, getting tired, like, well, maybe I should get rid of this. Yeah. They're going to try to make their money back, and they're not going to sell it for eighty dollars. Nah. No, not if not if that second shipment comes out next year. Um, exactly, even thousand. more. I I, I so. think Nintendo's I think Nintendo's gonna feed a demand that doesn't matter, that's not there anymore. They waited too long, to jump mm. on that boat. I, I think I think, I think those are gonna while. those any those that second NES classic shipment is gonna get stuck on the shelves. I I, I think that phase the fat is worn off. I don't know. Champ, did you have uh, one point you said you wanted to make before I take us for the no, exit question? No, that was it. That was it. No, Which I, made one, it, sorry. I made it that uh, what was the, it? the more savvy guys will t- will take the console and, and hack it in and throw a few more games on there that, that weren't already on there. You know, they put, maybe there's titles on there. You know, like NHL 94, one of the best sports games out there. You do have many <laughs> NHL 94 titles on your... NHLPA. <laughs> NHL, yeah. But yes. I, oh, my God. The NHL 94 was just fucking awesome. Well, you soon just love soon it. you'll probably have it and be able to load it up. There's certainly another hack coming, I'm sure. If it if it's not another, it's probably the same one. So I can definitely try to get it on there, uh, because NHL '94 was just one of those games for me that I just love to play. So much fun. And I would encourage everyone to go to the Tech Loft and see the NHL '94 <laughs> gameplay videos. Exit oh, yeah. and the unboxing videos. And of course, all the unboxing videos Unbox- that the champ has. Exit <laughs> question you. going around the table. SNES Classic seems like it's a success. The market has spoken. People seem to like it. Nintendo did a good job. Mm-hmm. And I think they, they've done a good job with the inventory, despite that it's all sold out today. A better the stores, job. Th- yeah, a better job. Better. They, Nintendo did say that they would do better with the inventory, and I think they did. So, exit question around the table. Have we hit the end of the nostalgia train line? Are we pulling into the final stop? I don't see Sega coming out with a Master System Classic. They are. Okay. Uh, Atari is coming out with one now. Uh, Atari's, Atari's coming out. Yes. That would be awesome. But that they're 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 they're, cha- they're chasing. A exactly. Are they one. are they chasing? And you know what, Jr. We're gonna start with you. So mm-hmm. exit question to you: Is the nostalgia train pulling into its final stop? Oh, I totally agree with you. Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't take a position. No, no, no. I, I think no. I, I'm going to agree. With, I'm, I'm going to agree with that question. It's like yes. It, I think it is, um, because now, now, now we're starting to bump into more fairly modern systems. You know, uh, stuff that's not even that old. Uh, Nintendo GameCube is 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 still pretty modern. It was it was kept a little more alive because the Wii was backwards compatible, as we said before. N64 was not was not the greatest system. Didn't even have a Zelda game released for it. Um, oh really? No, it did not oh, get, did not get a Zelda. Ah, uh, no, it did have Majora's Mask. My mistake. Oh, okay. it did. Wind uh, Waker? Where was no, Wind Waker. Wind Waker. My, no, Wind Waker was a GameCube. It was GameCube. Okay. It was Majora's oh, Majora's Mask. That uh, no, no, it was two. They, no, it actually did have two games. My mistake. You, sh- I, you sure it wasn't? I Wind Waker? stand correct. No, well, I know I have Wind Waker. It was GameCube. It had. Um, no, it had the other one. Um, Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Ocarina of Time. And Majora's Mask, holy crap! I am way issue. wrong. It had two. It had. It didn't get Metroid. Don't my mistake. Don't beat yourself up. It's your time. You can it was, use it, it as you please. It was Metroid that it didn't have. That's right. It didn't get a Metroid game. But I agree. I think we're running out. Uh, Atari is, is 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 if it if, if Atari releases, they are fucking stupid because their graphics are even worse than the NES was. Considering half their games even appeared on the NES on its itself, and those games are extraordinarily dated. I mean, most of those were one button and a joystick games, and I, I don't. I, I think there's a nostalgia there that is is they, they just 
should not even bother chasing. Uh, I think they're making a real mistake. I think uh, the NES Classic is going to be the end of this train. I, I, I think. Uh, I really honestly think. I think uh, anyone else. Sega. I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't think Sega ever. Sega had their loyal following, but they weren't. It was near. It wasn't as rabid as Nintendo. Point given. Re, Sega has gone. Gone out of the. Out of the. Uh, console business and it's simply software so the fan base clearly was not there and i don't think if sega gets on it i will be surprised i will be shocked and shocked and amazed that they have made that kind of decision but i i don't think they're good they're going to do that the population of jr's will double if that happens <laughs> i know be beside yourself i will unbelief. be literally and I will assume there's none because I, I have a bad counting system <laughs> thank you jr <laughs> across the table Marco, tell me, is your wife <laughs> clamoring for an SNES? Does Big V have out. to go and buy her one too? I haven't heard anything about that from her. <laughs> I don't think she uh, knows yet. She may not know. She might be too out of touch. Ah, she keep goes. her in the dark. She's yes, too too good plan. Yes. yes. Lord, no, she won't listen to this podcast. <laughs> no. Oh. It's okay. My Snap. wife doesn't even know we have a podcast. It's all right. <laughs> That's the support I get. But for <laughs> for... Uh, for your wife, is she off the nostalgia train? She just wanted one from her memories, and now she's done. I, I, I honestly think she's forgotten that it's where it is. But she's was, even forgotten that you even have one. Yes, I was. Yeah. I was very. I was very surprised to hear that she even wanted one. That technically, badly. that she oh, has one, not I, him. So she probably had one when she was uh, mm -hmm. uh, young, the original one, I guess. Mm -hmm. So no SNES for you. Uh, I'm not discounting that. Could happen. <laughs> Could happen. I, I I've heard, a, I've heard that the uh, phone call one day. You may yeah. get a text. I've heard that the, text. the Switch has an emulator in it. They were they've just turned it off. Right. If only they had an online store where you could buy all these games. Your time is <laughs> over. Thank you. To Marco's right. Big V. Final thoughts. Is the nostalgia train over? Um. To be honest, I'm, I'm not even really sure. Uh, I was never like I had the NES, the original one. Uh, I still have it at home uh, with its typical problem, not able to read uh, the cartridges. But uh, blowing it, yeah, <laughs> yeah. blowing, yeah. just blow uh, it, blowing, pushing blow down. It. Just, it just blow it. Uh, none Rub of that works pants. anymore. It's done. Take it to your lips. Uh, double, double tap, double tap, <laughs> double tap. <laughs> two fingers. Anyways, um, but I was never really um, a hardcore gamer. Um, I only really had was like four or five games for it. Um, so, to be honest, I, I don't know. Um, I may try and acquire a Super NES simply because I've never had one. Uh, the NES was basically the only gaming system I've ever had until I bought the Wii. Uh, so, that's it. Those are like literally the only two gaming systems I've ever had do in my you, entire life. You've, you've got an Android box, right, Big V? I do have an Android box. Okay, guys. we'll talk after the podcast. Actually, technically, Sal has my Android box. Uh, yeah, I'm still working on it. All of my we'll, Android uh, we'll, okay. ta we'll talk after We're the podcast. Drifting. So, so, Big V, um, you may have interest in an SNES, but that's where you get off the train. That's pretty much it, because after that, I, I I didn't dabble in anything else. Uh, I, I was never a Sega, never a uh, PlayStation, never any of that other stuff. Big V keeping it real. Yeah. Champ. For me personally. Is the nostalgia train over for you? For me? Uh, yeah. Well, it depends. I mean, um, yeah, like the Nintendo and Super Nintendo, that, that was the big thing. And then I didn't really play anything until the PlayStation came out. Um, <coughs> but I don't, I don't think uh, if another, like if an N64 came out, I don't think I'd be drawn to getting that. Unless it's just something I want to collect. But yeah, that's it. There was no no Master System, no Genesis for me. I I don't see. I yeah. It's a. I think could be could be could end with the Super Nintendo. You're done. Genesis. Yeah, might be. For myself, uh, I'm I'm really interested to see where they go. I think if they wanted to do something smart with the Sega games, they would combine the Master System 
and the Genesis together mm. because the Master System was ahead of its time. Some mm-hmm. of those games on there were fantastic. Mm-hmm. I spent a lot of time playing the Master System. You had one? Uh, I did not have one. Friend had one. I camped out at his house for two summers oh. and played everything that he had. Um, the uh, Apart from the Mario games and a couple of games like the Zelda, like the real tentpole games, I think the Master System was leaps and bounds ahead of the Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, simply because it had two different ways to that you could access the games. It had the cartridges and it had the little the cards. credit cards, yeah. which were fantastic. They didn't really. Have, they really didn't jump into the into, into the credit cards. No, as much. no, they didn't, and I don't understand. They why. built it and they never used yeah. it. I don't understand why. They had they had some they had some excellent games. They were they I'm seemed sorry, to be breaking. I'm sorry, which system was this? Master, master system. It was the Sega Master. It was the system. Sega eight right. bit system. They had cards. You'd slide into. They had the a front. little slot in the yeah. front for yeah. cards. They never yeah. they never caught on. Wow, I think they yeah. were. I think I think that I think the tech was too expensive. And I think I had one buddy who who owned a master system. Yeah, there there were not that many master systems. They really caught fire with the Genesis. Mm-hmm. So yeah. if if there was a master system that came out, I'd be very interested in at least trying it out yeah, and yeah. seeing. Um, for me, the nostalgia train. I don't think it's at the last stop by any stretch, but it's losing steam. Mm-hmm. To keep the metaphor going. Um, it, it will come to an end eventually with people like us because, you know, our kids and even the generation that came after us, they grew up on phones. They grew up on the, mm. the next gen systems. They simply won't have that. Tablets. Yeah, tablets. They simply won't have that a- attachment to, you know, a run and jump side scroller that just puts a smile on my face yeah. every time. Yeah. Although a lot of, a lot of the big thing in, 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 in handheld, in, in, ta- in phone games is 8-bit, 8-bit graphics. Yeah, games are an 8-bit but the graphics are i don't want to talk about phone games because i have quite an opinion on them and um i don't like them so i let's leave it at let's leave it as it is uh, right. we're gonna wrap it up i would encourage everyone to go to our website crewroundtable.com there you'll find links to all of our social media you can find links to the youtube page where jr puts up every show so that you can get around any of your work firewalls and listen in mm-hmm. uh, you will find links to our twitter uh, at Crew Roundtable, you can give us topics by using the hash, hashtag Ask the Crew. Uh, you can subscribe. Of course, we're on iTunes, we're on the Google Play Store, we're everywhere that you get your podcasts. Please subscribe, rate, and review the show. Share it with your friends and enemies. We need your reviews. We need you to put this show out into the world. Champ, you make it look so easy when you host. Thank you very much for letting me do this. Um, Anytime. You can have it back next show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mario, tu sta Luigi. <laughs>